welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here my name is alma sinobi and in this video i'm going to be sharing where i stayed while i was in mauritius why i booked where and how you can book um, your accommodations and choose where to stay basically while you're here so if you're planning a trip to mauritius very soon and you'd like to know um, what hotels are best and what you should consider when you're booking then definitely keep on watching Okay, so before I start, I would just like you to know that this trip was for 10 days. Um, I typically, I don't like to book um, hotels or stay in one place for more than four nights at a stretch. And four nights is actually like a lot. Normally, I stay two nights, three nights, different places, because then I get bored of the food, the scenery, and I just want something new. So in this case, we had 10 nights to spend in Mauritius, and I spread it out um, across three nights at a resort, four nights in a boutique hotel, and the remaining three nights at an Airbnb. So all of these um, bookings, I made them while I was in Nigeria before I left for Mauritius because they would actually check um, before you were even allowed to board if you have booked and paid for this accommodation. So now onto the first one. Um, the first place that I stayed at was this beautiful island resort. It's called Preskill. It is 16 minutes away from the airport in a small county called Mayburg. Now this place is actually, this can be really handy because I didn't want to have to travel all the way, maybe one hour or an hour and a half to a resort or to my hotel after I had had like the most hectic trip. So it was really nice that it was just 60 minutes away from the airport. I just got right there and then I checked in and then I was in. So what do I like about this place? Hmm. Okay, so I like how big it is. I booked this place because I wanted something spacious, something, you know, like Instagram y and like, oh my god, with a view and all of those things. So, yeah, that's why I booked it. But apparently, I was wrong because I didn't exactly feel very welcome or feel very. I just felt unseen. Um, mostly because this place is full of tourists, like a lot of tourists were here. There were just a lot of people and you know like it just, it's not personal and personally I like to have trips where uh, my stays are rather personal. In terms of design and spatial everything, it was amazing because I've been to like you know 5 star, 4 star, 100 star hotels to know that they're all the same all the time like the rooms are the same furniture the same style the same anything nobody's really making any effort these days but these guys are actually you know ingenious with their design um the bathroom flushed with the room really nicely you know there's no real doors the mirrors were cute and everything so this place was really cute um i booked the superior room with a sea view and i had an amazing view of the ocean from my room the air was crisp and clear and i even met some nigerians actually on my birthday and i celebrated my birthday with them um actually i met a nigerian a Ghanaian, and an indian so we made friends and then you know they they learned my name while they were halfway through the happy birthday song like that's that was just an amazing birthday i had right um so yeah i really loved all of these things about um press skill and you know i didn't like some other things which i mentioned if you are a solo traveler that likes to you know visit a place and you know just go on scene and just get lost like nobody notices you then yeah this place would be perfect for you so the superior room with the sea view cost me 677 dollars um this was for three nights in total so that's about 220 something dollars per night this was a half board package so um breakfast and dinner were included um some of the activities were not drinks and everything also were not included in the price so you can okay so i typically like to book half board for half board or all inclusive for my first stays so that i i get enough time to absorb you know the country and stay and chill and then um you know before i start to go out for lunch or dinner or you know walk around and everything but all in all this place was it was not really giving as much as i thought i actually thought i was a resort kind of person but then this trip made me realize that i'm really not right i like small close knit like boutique hotel styles and stuff like that i'm just going to give this place a six over ten um mostly because it does function as you know a resort and what it's meant to be but it was probably just not for me so yeah six over ten Presque island resort mayburg mauritius next place um i stayed at was this 
beautiful, chic, eco-friendly boutique hotel called Salt of Palmar. Salt of Palmar is a one-of-a-kind place to stay really. It is one of the, not one of, it's the best hotel that I've stayed at while I was traveling ever. The people, the culture, the values, everything was just screaming my name. It was, it's not, it's not the kind of place that you go into and then you feel like you're, you know, you just go and then you feel like you're at a friend's place, right? And then, I mean, to even start with, once you walk into the hotel, there's no front desk per se, like someone who is, the front desk is hidden in a corner, so they attend to you like, and then have conversations with you and then they go do the paperwork while you sit down. So it's not like one of these corporate places where they just like, you know, everybody's acting all mm, uptight and all of that, but, so it was really, mm, yeah, it was just that that vibe. I was just like, mm, Alma, 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 and yeah, and this is why, even though I don't like to stay for more than four nights in one place, I extended my stay here for an extra two nights, even though I had already paid for an Airbnb. It was that good. I actually really, really, really loved staying here. One of the things that I loved about this place was how close it is and how intimate it was. A lot of people um, who typically work at hotels are just doing their job, but these people, it seemed like they gave them a different kind of training because every one of them wanted to help you do something. Like, someone even noticed when we didn't come for dinner. It was like, I, personally, I didn't even realize that I was not there for dinner the day before, but he noticed, he was like, oh, we missed you at dinner last day, and I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it was it was a really amazing stay here I met so many people that I actually really really loved meeting the culture is there like there are not so many tourists that are obnoxious or you know that just everybody was just chilling there are lots of activities there's yoga you can do like water sports oh and I and I had I went to the spa and I got this thing they call this the salt experience so it's a spa treatment basically but you get to you get to just pick your salt for your treatment and every, everything was just really nice and then went into the salt room it was beautiful period okay so at salt of palma i booked the pool plus room and this cost me 615 dollars for four nights when i booked it on booking.com i eventually extended my stay but approximately it cost 150 dollars per night and this was for a bed and breakfast arrangement um at the pool plus room i about the rooms i absolutely loved they set up the rooms don't have TVs and they tell you because that's not what their guests actually come here for so their books there's a really beautiful view of the ocean there's it's just beautiful like the colors were inspiring I didn't actually realize this was what I was missing out on when I was in Presque because Presque was white and blue and brown and minimalist and white white like white everywhere is okay um so I'm just going to rate this place a nine I would say a 10 but I'm being hopeful that I will meet another hotel or I would go somewhere else and I'll find a hotel that is actually a 10 over 10 and then rate it so so I'll just go with a 9 or a 9.5 actually but this was a solid 9 over 10 Salt of Palma absolutely love it the best place that I have stayed ever best hotel that I've stayed ever eco-friendly um, boutique hotel it's an adult only resort beautiful now the third place that I stayed at was an airbnb this airbnb was hosted by florian it's actually an airbnb plus um now this place i booked this place for three nights but i ended up staying for one because i extended my stay at salt this airbnb was just it piqued my interest because it was just beautiful it was just i was just i was i was in awe um florian has a degree or a diploma in architecture he owned this place he designed it by himself now this is not being mean biased or anything because i have a training in architecture but i just have a particular um i could tell that this place was designed differently the balance of form and function the way the spaces married to each other it was just beautiful it's it was just beautiful the tub was in the bathroom uh, not in the bathroom the tub was in the bedroom it was just like dug in the hole it was just beautiful like 
how does anybody even do this like it was it was so beautiful so florian was an incredible host he was kind he was very resourceful very brilliant he was easy and quick to respond when you text him he'll just respond to you like on airbnb on whatsapp he was always checking in oh have you guys left have you landed how was your trip all of those things he sent us a guide he actually curated a guide to mauritius so it was actually really really thoughtful of him he's a very resourceful person and the only reason this place will not get a, a nine or like something like that or a ten is because if i were alone i may have been spooked out because of how big the place was and you know the way the spaces were disjointed it was not um like oh you walk here walk into a corridor and like you actually walk out of the house and then into another bedroom so it was really nice this place actually um is supposed to be a shared apartment so people um shared the common spaces that's the living room and the gym and all of that um but you get your own bedroom right so this one bedroom costs 304 dollars including service charge and all of that so approximately 100 dollars per night um so each of these bedrooms came with a mini bar so you had like a mini kitchen you had like a microwave a bin and a sink and all of those things so it was really it was really really pretty and the air here at the, you know the air on the balcony of the bedroom was was just different i don't even know i just sat there and yeah i just took it all in the view from the from that balcony of the city was just beautiful so this place i would rate it an eight out of ten mostly because i would have been spooked out if i was a solo traveler and you know um returning at night or arriving there at night it was you know it was weird for me if i wasn't with anybody else i would have left um so yes these are the places that i spent time at while i was in uh, Mauritius um, one thing that I considered when I was booking these places were the itinerary I already had in terms of when I was going to arrive and where I was going straight to like I said before if you're booking um, somewhere the first day should typically be around the airport so that you're not worn out you know from your trip and then you start taking another trip by road to the hotel so that was why I booked Preskill for the first place um, the second thing that I would say is you already have your tours in mind you already know where you're going to visit so plan those tours around where you'll be staying per time so in this case if you are in Mauritius and you want to do a south tour do the tour while you're in Port Louis or while you're in Mayburg or something um, and when you want to do a north tour plan your north tour around when um, you're in Belmar or when we are in Salt or any of the hotels on that um, area on that side of the country so Mauritius is actually really really beautiful it has amazing scenery it has a lot of hotels as well because it's a tourist hotspot so when you're choosing your hotel make sure that you um, make the right decision based on what you want and what kind of traveler you are so if you're a kind of person that likes intimate experiences you want to actually run into people many times during the trip and make friends you should consider booking uh, a boutique hotel or a smaller hotel as opposed to a resort where you probably would meet someone once and never again so these are my top tips for while you're booking your hotel in Mauritius and these are the places that I stayed while I was in Mauritius I'm talking so fast <sighs> okay so this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i would next video i will be sharing with you guys how much i spent in total while i was in mauritius and i have another video planned i can't remember now but yeah i, I would put those up very soon so please subscribe if you've not subscribed yet um and i'll see you guys in my next one bye